This video will show you how to mount an auxiliary lock on Anderson 400 series, 200 series, and A series gliding patio doors. These special locks provide an extra measure of security when the door is in a locked position. You'll need safety glasses, a scratch awl, a Phillips screwdriver, a hammer, an electric drill, a 3 32nd inch drill bit, a 1 8 inch drill bit, and a half inch drill bit, as well as an auxiliary lock kit, which contains the auxiliary lock, also referred to as a foot lock, mounting screws, and two grommets, available from your Anderson dealer or parts.andersonwindows.com. You may also need someone to help. Start by locking the door. Then position the lock on the door flush against the edge of the operating panel with the locking rod retracted and 3 32nds of an inch above the sill. You may use a 3 32nds inch drill bit to assist in positioning. Using the lock as a template, mark holes with a scratch awl. Next, you'll be drilling holes in order to attach the lock. Care should be used not to drill the pilot holes too deep or glass damage could occur. Drill 3 32nds inch pilot holes a quarter of an inch deep and secure the lock with the screw supplied. With the operating panel closed and locked, tap down on the lock rod to mark the proper hole location. Keeping the operating panel in the lock position, remove the inside headstock. Unlock and open the door, then tilt the top of the panel back slightly before lifting it out. Place the operating panel exterior side up on a clean flat work surface. The weight of the door panels will vary. Use a reasonable number of people with sufficient strength to lift, move, and carry the door panel, and always use appropriate lifting techniques. Drill a 1 8 inch pilot hole in the door track at the mark made where the bolt will be engaged. Then enlarge the pilot hole with a half inch drill bit and press a plastic grommet into the hole. Now lift the operating panel onto the sill from the interior and position the rollers on top of the sill rib. Tip the top of the operating panel in, slide the panel closed, and hold in position by locking the door. Then, reapply the head stop. If a vent position is desired, open the door to the desired vent position, and tap down on the lock rod to mark the proper hole location. Drill a 1 8 inch pilot hole in the door track at the mark made where the bolt will be engaged. Then enlarge the pilot hole with a half inch drill bit and press a plastic grommet into the hole. The auxiliary lock only provides an extra measure of security when the door is in a locked position. Congratulations! You have successfully installed an auxiliary lock on your Anderson Gliding Patio Door. If you need parts for your Anderson windows or doors, just go to our online parts store. And if you have questions about care, maintenance, or repair, call our customer care center at 888-888-7020. Or visit the Help Center in the service section of our website at help.andersonwindows.com. Anderson, customer care, is what we care about most.